just heard an impassioned Daryl Hazel at Kent State, and welcome to ESPN's coverage of the 2013 GoDaddy.com Bowl as number 25 Kent State. The Golden Flashes face the Arkansas State Red Wolves from Lad People Stadium in Mobile, Alabama. The first meeting all time between these two teams. He's kicked those five yards deep and it'll come back out. Maybe gets the ball between the tackles and what a burst into the clear and brought down at the two yard line. First and goal, golden flashes. Durham. He's been stopped up short of the end zone. Maybe second and goal. Second and goal. Durham again, stopped up. He's going to lose a couple of yards. And it's third and goal. Amos Draper there, along with Starson. Trips left formation. To the end zone, incomplete and intercepted. Wow, chuckled and held on. A miraculous catch by Harold. is caught that's going to be a first down at about the 32 yard line that's in the backfield up down to about the five and we go back pass complete to Adam. I mean, he got drilled he got his world rocked in the wolf he's your nickel back converted running back Went to junior college for a year, came back, and has been doing a whole bunch of that, showing you the explosiveness at 200 pounds. Getting into them shoulder pads. That was a... And so Keith out of the shotgun. Archer takes the handoff on the fly sweep. Uh -oh. And he is flying in flight. Uh-oh. Archer, <laughs> slippery, slithering all the way down to the 23. Yeah, you can tell. On the fly sweep, Archer gets his hands in him. On the reverse, quarterback Keith leading the way. Archer will score. Quick slant complete to the tight end Smith. And Andre Smith inside the 20. The ball is going to be about the coverage is going to dictate the call. They're going to run it. And a good call. Touchdown, Oku. schools in that state and a look at one of their masterpieces so cool handed off to him oh and he fought not sure that he got it it's going to be fourth down Applin fires a dark complete first down and then some out to the 32 yard line McKissick at the other end of the league. There's some great players up front. Alpin connecting on his last nine. Make that ten and a touchdown. McKissick. On the back end of that defense, lose sight. Make the screen, as I said. This is where they like to take some of those shots. And you're patient, and you're patient, and you're patient, and eventually those eyes, well, they'll get you beat. Especially when you have a quarterback that can create. Steps up and fires complete. Archer down to the 26-yard line. 18 of 23 on the season. He pops that one right down Government Street, right down Main Street here in Mobile. First and ten play action. Keith was looking up top and didn't get a chance to turn it loose. Sack back at the 32. That game, quick slant complete. That's Griswold. And Griswold from 25 yards out, straight ahead. And he knocks it through. The lead now up to seven points for the Red Wolves.
just nothing on the field with Archer on the sidelines. A great screen set up. And that's Durham. The 11th play of the Kent State drop. They give it to Archer on the reverse. He broke one tackle, couldn't break two, and is brought down for a little bit. And he knocks it through. The lead is down to four with 144 to go. In a historic season. Let me tell you what else this team has done for him. 38 takeaways. And tonight, zero. A pass complete. A stop job by Brian Applin, a quarterback today for the Red Wolves. Facing a blitz here. Bought a little time and has his receiver. Great play by the Sun Belt Conference Player of the Year, Griswold. Durham brought down for a loss. Back at the 37 yard line. Good stick. They've just been there before, Mark, and he carries a lot of weight for me. Nice run around the right side, Rocky Hayes. Some chances. You gotta find a way to connect here on four. Gotta get to the 34. Blitz coming. Open underneath. Hurdle has the first down and tiptoes out of bounds. They trail by four, and it's all come down, boiled down, filtered down to this one play. He's gonna run for it. Short. Lee with the stop. And the Red Wolves take over on downs. And the Gatorade shower for Coach Thompson. And they got all of them. <laughs> Red Wolves are going to win it 17 to 13. And get their eighth straight win, their 10th of the season. Their first win of a ranked team since joining the FBS, Arkansas State. And the agony of defeat. On the other sideline. Coaches were determined, players were united and galvanized that this wouldn't be a repeat of last year when they lost to Northern Illinois amongst the coaching change. Final thoughts, Brock. Don't be shocked if tomorrow night looks a lot like this. Tremendous effort, physical football teams. I expect a great game tomorrow night in Miami. Well, the final score once again. John Thompson leading his team to victory 17 to 13. Three Archer unable to finish it out. Live coverage of the trophy ceremony on ESPN3. Coming up next year on ESPN Sports Center. Big story of the day, NFL wild card action. Good night, everyone, from Mobile, Alabama.